Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Not so are the wicked, not so, for they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. When the wicked are judged, they shall not stand, nor find room among those who are just. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. This psalm, St. Thomas Aquinas tells us, takes in the whole world. It draws us to open our eyes to consider the state of the entire universe, to consider who is successful in life and who loses out. It is the good whom God loves and makes his own who will truly be happy in all eternity. It is the wicked who turn away, who might seem happy now, who are on the path to ruin. Christ, the lover of mankind, climbed a tree, planted firmly in the earth, and a river of life-giving water flowed from him. This tree, the cross, replaced that old tree by which Adam had sinned. Instead of taking from the tree, Christ gives by a tree, pouring out blood and water for the washing away of sin. Do we take time to pray in silence each day and drink from Christ's side? Does the water of the Spirit gush forth in us, as the Lord promised when he cried aloud, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. The happy man, who belongs to Christ, finds him in his heart and in his mind, day and night. What else is he like, this happy man? Firstly, he is deeply rooted, planted in a firm soil. His trust in God is not so easily shaken. Next, he is a man not just of prayer, but of action. He produces those good fruit that St. Paul speaks of, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Lastly, he avoids at all cost sin and perseveres, always shunning temptation to follow the counsel of the wicked. Thus his leaves stay green, they do not fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Ransom, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us.